first you want to load up your roller to make sure that you get enough material on here, otherwise you can see through it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're priming for a metallic epoxy system. So we're putting down a black base. You can use other colors. Blacks are usually good for kind of blanking your canvas. So especially floors that have a lot of uh, imperfections that you don't want to have smile through the floor, you want to eliminate those. So we're putting this down somewhere around uh, on the light side of 320 square feet per gallon upwards of, depending on the floor, you may end up needing more. So you could go upwards of 160 square feet per gallon. Now this can be applied either with a notch squeegee and then back rolled to break the surface tension, or you can do exactly what I'm doing where you pour out a ribbon, use a, tr uh, a flat squeegee, or just dip and roll it like this. Pull out any low spots you may have where it's puddling so that it's a uniform base. Any patching, joint work, crack repair, whatever you're gonna do needs to be done prior to this when you're doing a metallic floor so that this ends up being your new canvas. Now when you do this, it's always a good idea to do a placement roll where you get it out first. And then when you come back across it, so you can kind of do this, V-roll it. And when you V-roll, you're pulling out your highs and lows. Because it's a primer, most of the time that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna leave it. It'll settle off. Though. It'll settle, it levels out on its own. As long as you don't get too far into it where it gets, when it starts sounding like this. You mean where it's tacky? Where it's getting tacky. That means you get about five minutes before you're gonna ruin it. So then I'll flow out and level in and then we'll put the metallic base on this tomorrow and then top coat it after that. Okay. So this will just sit overnight. So this is an epoxy with our Sunrise Metallic and Luster pigment. We're going to highlight this with graphite and some silver. The advantage of the epoxy is that you can go thicker, so it's gonna hide more. They model differently than a polyaspartic, so it is a slightly different product. Difference between a polyaspartic and an epoxy is the epoxy is allowing you depth, so if you're trying to fix a floor that has a lot of imperfections in it, you can build that up and smooth it out. Epoxies are harder than a polyaspartic would be, but the advantage of the polyaspartic is same day application. You can do from primer to finish all one day, where with the epoxy, there are products that we have that can do that, but they don't flow as well, and you have a very short working time. So they, this is not traditionally a single day application. One of the other differences when you're doing an application with epoxy, you're gonna hit this one with solvent right off the bat and you're done. You can't do that with epoxies because if you hit it, it'll relax out, it sits there open longer. So you're gonna break your tension with it first, wait 30 minutes-ish, sometimes 45, really temperature dependent, and then you're gonna come back in it again and if you wanna create those ringlets, you're gonna to have to spray it again because they're gonna go away. So you gotta let it settle. Once it relaxes, then you come back in and you do it. It's more to kinda of flatten it out and get rid of some of the tension that might have been created from air from moving it around. This is denatured alcohol. You can use, denatured alcohol is gonna help it flatten but not pop like the rings we got as well there. It will, but not early on. This is just to kind of mold the colors together and, and even the surface out. We'll wait a little bit once it's done moving on its own and we'll pattern it afterwards. This is strictly just to make it lay down and flow 